Hey Water Signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross-watching in today's reading, we're going to take a look and see what you can expect within the next 24 to 48 hours. It is going to be a general reading, guys. Please keep that in mind. If you're after a personal one, feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed below the video. Otherwise, let's go ahead, give the cards a shuffle. Let's see, what is it can you, that you can expect within the next 24, say, to 48 hours? Okay, there could be some contact or communication that comes in for you from a, a air sign, a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Um, you could expect to receive, you could expect to hear uh, from someone whom either you haven't heard from this person in quite some time, although I feel like energetically, emotionally, you guys are still very much connected, but you might receive some direct contact, direct communication from this person, and it feels like they have something to tell you it also feels like there's a bit of um, an element of truth attached to this communication so they can be very direct very upfront um, and very forward in what it is that they have to share with you or if this is someone who um, you know out of nowhere or out of the blue all of a sudden decides to um, get conversation in communication going with you again then I feel like there's a bit of a cold air there's a bit of a cold energy between you and this person I'm also seeing that truth for instance right now truth is uh, very important to you it's very important to a lot of you guys that you stay true to yourself okay so in you know whatever it is that you're currently doing whatever it is that you're currently focused on whatever you know relationships or friendships or connections you've got going on um, it's so important that you stay true to who you are and you stay true to your values, okay, to what's important to you. Um, for some of you, there may be like a truth that you might be discovering, okay. Um, you've got the tower here, which is like a sudden revelation or like a shocking discovery or something suddenly comes to light. There could also be something that falls apart, something that collapses. So maybe a project that you're working on suddenly falls through. Um, or something just sort of, the way that I see it, it's sort of like falling apart at the seams and it all comes undone for you. Uh, but what it does, you know, during the collapsing and the crumbling of whatever this is, whether it's a relationship, whether it's a friendship, whether it's a project or something that you're working on, something just comes undone and it's just bursting at the seams. Uh, so it, the reason why it's, it's coming undone here is because it may have been built on a tower of illusions, okay? Or it may have been built on a false premise, okay? So for instance, for some of you, especially for those of you creatives out there, because you water signs do tend to be very um, artistic or very creative in your nature, you might be working on a project. And maybe um, up until very recently, you may not have been aware that you're approaching it all wrong, okay? So it's not coming together. Um, in fact, it's going to all come apart, but it's going to allow you to see the truth of what you're writing or the truth of your premise or the truth of your characters or the truth of what it is that you want to say. For others, there is some sort of truth or some sort of shocking discovery that you might make about someone whom you were romantically involved with or someone whom you were very close to. Um, and it's it feels a little bit unsettling or it feels a little bit unnerving, um, but I think you deserve to know the truth. I think you deserve to know what's going on between you and this person what this person is really all about um a lot of nervous a lot of tension energy here guys you're feeling a little unsettled you're not feeling your usual self um you're a little maybe you're a little tired maybe you're a little bit wired but for a lot of you i feel like there's something here that um, the energies feel very tense it feels a little unsettling it doesn't feel like you're it doesn't feel like you're you know you're not your usual self Something here has you on edge. It could have something to do with the sudden discovery that you're going to make. It could have something to do with the fact that this person, you know, out of nowhere decides to make contact communication uh, with you again when all of a sudden you've decided to finally, you know, m move past, finally move on from them and then they come back into your life and suddenly rattle things back up for you. Whatever it is, it just feels like you're feeling a little bit uneasy. Could just be your emotions as well. Your em 
it could be like um, you're feeling a little bit emotionally scattered um, you have a lot of pent-up energy so you have a lot of frustrations maybe about yourself about the situation that you're in and you don't really have the reason why it's been built up is because you're not really there's no outlet for you right so all of these emotions and you guys carry a lot of emotional depth you are you know water energies you are ruled by the element of water and if you don't find an outlet to channel all of those emotions whether it's anger frustration um, you know disappointment whatever it may be it's going to build up on you and it's going to make you feel you know this way it's going to make you feel a little tense a little uncomfortable a little frustrated so make sure you find different outlets to channel you know um, all of these emotions some of you, I feel like I'm seeing sleepless nights. I, I see that some of you haven't been getting a lot of sleep lately. Uh, I don't know if something is keeping you up at night here. Um, noisy neighbors that might have moved in. Um, some of you are insomniacs. Okay, so rest is going to be very important because I feel like without the rest, you're not really focused, especially you know at work or if you're working on some sort of pro some sort of important project or if you've got deadlines to meet. It's so important that you do get your rest. Because I see some sleepless nights. But for, for others, I feel like... I see that you do your best work like during the night time. Okay, when the moon pops out to say, um, Hello, I see that you do... Um, like you become a little bit more motivated or more inspired. Maybe to write or, you know, to play your instrument or to work on that project. A lot of you, especially for those of you writers... I just see that some of you, maybe who don't, you know, who are insomniacs, you're going to start, um, I feel like you're going to pick up a project maybe, and that's going to help you, it's going to help you with your creativity, um, it's going to help you channel all of your energies and your emotions as well. Um, there is some exciting news that's coming your way, so it could, it could reach you within 24 to 48 hours of this reading. This news feels very sudden, very unexpected. The thing is, there's something here that it's like you've applied for something or you've sent um, a message, you've sent an email, you've sent away something and some of you, you, were, you weren't very um, hopeful or optimistic about this. That's what it feels like. It's like, you know, you might have applied for a job and even though you didn't fully meet the criteria or the qualifications for this job, you applied so anyways. And a lot of you are receiving positive response, okay? And this is why I, I feel like for you and why I say that it's, it's a bit of a surprise. Like, even though you wanted this very thing, whatever it is for you, you didn't necessarily anticipate, you know, getting um, a response from this person or a positive response of that. And so it'll come as a welcome surprise for you to find out that you will be receiving some sort of contact or communication. Um, or at least, or at the very least, some sort of update, just to say that your application is further progressing along, or, you know, things are going smoothly. There is something also here to do with air travel. Some of you are booking flights, um, or some of you are going to have, um, something here is, so if you've had plans, it just feels like something is happening sooner than later. There is someone here who is, someone around you you're not really connected to this person i feel like this is someone this is a growing new attraction a growing new connection there's someone here who i feel like is really attracted to you someone who's very intrigued by you someone who's very um you know th this person just feels very drawn to you very drawn to your energy they feel very they feel as though you're very attractive inside and outside it's like this person is very like, you've got their attention, whoever this is, and I don't think it's anyone that you're seeing, okay, so it could be, like, an admirer at work, it could be someone that, like, it, it's a place that you might frequent very often, so it could be, like, your local cafe, or, you know, the gym that you work out, it's someone here, you, see, you've caught this person's interest, and um, this is someone who has their eye on you, so maybe this is someone who's going to make some sort of contact or communication with you as well. Um, someone very drawn to you, someone who's just so, this person is very taken with you. 
okay um for a lot of you as well stop resisting here there's something in your energies um and i'm picking up very strongly right now you're resisting something there's something here that wants to make its way to you whether it is an opportunity a job opportunity whether it's an opportunity as i say with travel as well um you're, you want it but you're scared okay that's the thing and that's what's holding you back you need to stop resisting it because the only thing that i feel like that is keeping you away from this person or this you know that's keeping the relationship from flourishing or the opportunity from arriving to you any earlier is you okay and it's your energy because you're scared of it even though you want it your energy is repelling it instead of attracting it because you're scared that um you know it's not for you or it's not going to work out whatever it is you need to stop resisting it okay so walk the path of least resistance and don't don't be so consumed by your fears as well any fears insecurities or anxieties that you might have about this whatever this is for you the situation or this person or this opportunity for some of you it is something to do with travel okay um an opportunity an international opportunity an opportunity to travel um, I feel like it, it could be long distance as well. Whatever this is, you need to, to don't let the consume you. Also, um, for some of you water signs as well, addictions, okay? There is something here that you've become really addicted to. Or there's something here where you're, like everyone has their vices, but you're indulging in this way too much lately, okay? So for some of you, maybe, you know... Um, you're drinking excessively a lot more than usual and maybe it's because you're really worked up and you're stressed out which is then you know causing you to um you know indulge in drinking for others it could be like you could be addicted to sugar and you've been eating just way too much sugar you've just been overindulging um yourself in in something that you know too much of anything can make you uh, an um an addict so whatever it is you know in moderation but i feel like you've been leaning on it just way too much to the point where it's becoming so addictive it's becoming so consuming and it's kind of taking over okay so you've lost control over whatever this is you need to get back control and you need to stop with whatever this is whether it's you know eating too much sugar or whether it's smoking gambling drinking you know what this is or you know not working out enough Whatever it is, it's not healthy, and it's like you're saying to yourself that, oh, you know, you're you're too far, you're you're too far in right now, and you feel as though whatever this is, this has a really strong hold or strong grip on you. Okay, that's because you've given it the power to do that. So it's time now for you to take your power back. All right, guys, and these are your messages. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Uh, please show your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. Bye.